This is Sneaker Gears. My name is Levi. And welcome to the top basketball shoes of 2018, Max Cushion Edition. If you are looking for the most cushion, this is going to be something you want to stay tuned to. Now, if you already have a shoe or you don't have a shoe that is up to the max cushioning task, you can grab the Velocity insoles. There's more on that after the video, but let's get right into it. Max Cushion Setups. There's not much in this category, guys. Uh, the only one I have not tried on, and I shouldn't sell them, there's two I haven't tried, so I do want to give credence before I get into it, is going to be your Anta KT4. The A foam they use on that is full length. I've heard a lot of good things. That is something that maybe should get an honorable mention. Uh, I know uh, Nightwing and some other reviewers are giving their case. Uh, I have not played in those, so I do want to give respect to that shoe, as well as the new Adidas Boost Marquee. That is using a much thicker boost setup than they're using in the Harden 3 and in other setups, and it's kind of taking the place of the Crazy Explosive from 2017. That, I do want to get the gum rubber bottom coming in, and just trying those on in store, I can tell you do feel the boost a lot more in that than you do in your Harden 3 setup. Now, the Harden 3 is a great balance, we'll get into that, but as far as a max cushioning setup, those are the two shoes to possibly consider but if you're looking for the best high cushion shoe you guys can see it in the background it doesn't take a genius it's a lebron 16. this cushion is unbelievable there is not really a competitor on the market even with the shoes i've talked about this is a cushion that is by far better then I don't care what they're doing from Anta. This is better than the thick slab of boost. The bounciness, the court feel, the flexibility, the weight in conjunction with all that is absolutely phenomenal. This is a shoe that not only is the cushion great, but it's really well balanced, especially when you have reviewers like Jerron Mon, where this was his go-to shoe, and he's probably 100 pounds lighter than me, and I would venture to say quicker than me, and he still enjoys this shoe. So that goes to tell you who this shoe can really be for, whether you need a lot of cushion or you want it to play quick, it does a lot absolutely love this shoe and obviously the traction pattern is almost the same as the number one tracks for 2018 and lebron soldier so you're getting areas of every category in this shoe really love it is it going to be tops we'll see but for cushion this is number one all right just like the Kyrie 4 this is an honorable mention and this is a shoe that it is hard to get is your Jordan 32s if you're looking for a high cushion setup thick boost I mean thick zoom air heel and forefoot does take a little bit to break in but once it does this shoe is phenomenal Jordan 32 definitely needs a shout out if you can grab a pair if you see them on sale this is something I think that it's gonna get lost on a lot of collectors and or a lot of players who just missed out and you know what there haven't been that many great deals on these uh, not to mention there's only two pairs out of all the 32s are released that had outstanding traction and that was this heather pair with the solid traction and the winget lows with the solid traction the other ones are still good but they're not up to this level so i'm still keeping my eye out if you guys have a pair if you've seen a pair of the winget lows 32 in for retail or less give me a shout out size 12 and a half or 13. uh this 32 with that thick zoom is amazing there's not much on the market like it right now and it's something you want to keep an eye on a third kind of special shout out is going to be your Kobe 360. Again, this is a shoe that is going on clearance. It is harder to find. Uh, whenever I try to go like on StockX or go, the prices are actually much higher in retail. This shoe is using React and Lunar, and it's a weird setup. This is a high cushion setup but it also has a lot of court feel uh it's something weird and this is going to be tops in the next category coming up pretty soon here but something to keep in mind where this is something that caters to a lot of players and depending how i'm feeling it does feel super mushy but it also can feel really close to the ground so uh, i don't want to confuse you guys i do have full reviews on this that gets a little more detailed but if you're looking for a high cushion setup but that's not its trademark the trademark is the weight and we'll get into that shortly if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe down below and hit the little bell if you want to see the new videos come out. Obviously, with the Max Cushion setup, you don't really need our Velocity insoles, but if you did order them, they will be coming out very soon. This is part three in the six-part series on Max Cushioning. This was a pretty easy one with the LeBron 16. We are coming at you next with the best support, so stay tuned for that coming out shortly.